G'day cunts. G'day cunts. There are a lot of people in this world and everyone has lots of different ideas on how we should do things, how the world should be run and what we should actually be and do on this planet. And of course a lot of conflict arises and we don't always agree with each other but if there's one thing that always brings humanity closer than anything else in the world, it's laughing at a fellow human being who has a fucking stupid name. I'm of course talking about the mother who named her poor child A, B, C, D, E. And if this shit wasn't bad enough to walk around every day with the start of the alphabet as your fucking name, when a flight attendant saw this name on a boarding pass, they took a photo, posted it online, and everyone laughed at it. And if that wasn't bad enough, instead of just ignoring it, maybe even issuing a takedown notice, the mother went to the news. And now, we have this interview. Now to that mother's outrage, after an airline employee appeared to make fun of her daughter's name, posting a picture of the five-year-old's boarding pass on social media. Man, imagine naming your child A, B, C, D, E, and then being surprised when people piss themselves when they see it. Like, that's, that's the most important thing you're ever gonna do in this world, is bring another human being into it, and instead of giving them a cool name, or even an obscure combination of letters from the alphabet like this, she was just like, ah, whatever, just the first couple, whack that in and we're done. Like, man, do you reckon the mother felt a little bit confused and felt like an idiot when she started emailing ABC, the news company, and then realized that she's literally just typing the first half of her daughter's name into the email box. I can't believe they made fun of my poor little girl. Two, A, B, C. Oh no, I've ruined my daughter's life. This morning, a Southwest Airlines gate agent at John Wayne Airport in Orange County under fire after appearing to make fun of a five-year-old girl's unique I love name. the other reporter's approach to this girl's name because obviously they think that it's fucking stupid and it's a dumb name, but they can't say that. So instead of criticizing the mother and her choice of names, they've just gone, oh, A, B, C, D, E, it's quite a unique name. It's like, dude, that's what you say to your friend with low self-esteem when they dye their hair green and it looks shit. Ta-da! How do I look? It's, it's definitely unique. Now this news story is about to get absolutely amazing because ABC, the, the news company, not the, not the girl, that's, that's not what they call her for short, ABC. <laughs> ABC, the news company, has actually nailed an interview with the girl's mother and it gets amazing. I'm going to play in a second, but before I do, I want to point out that this is literally how you spell the name, right? including capital letters. Like, it's not bad enough that this poor little girl's name is just a jumble of random letters. It's in all caps, so you have to yell it. Oh, hello, it's lovely to meet you. Sorry, I'm, I might pronounce this one wrong. Is it uh, uh, A, B, C, D, E? Is that right? Hi, nice to meet you. No, 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 that's fine. Everyone always gets it wrong on the first time. It's actually pronounced ABACADA! Oh, okay, ABACADA. No, no, it's in all caps, so you actually say it like ABACADA! ABACADA! Almost. ABACADA! 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 Abracadabra! Abracadabra! Alakazam! Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I, th I think I'm in the wrong place. While I was sitting there, she took a picture of my boarding pass and chose to post it on social media, uh, mocking my daughter. How did I know that the mother of a girl called ABCDE would talk like this and look like that? Fuck, man. Just based on how her mum speaks, it's actually a miracle that whoever made the birth certificate didn't chuck a question mark on the end. This is the post her boarding pass. The girl's name is spelled A-B-C-D-E, but it's pronounced Ab-City. Oh, okay. Ab-City? Ab-City? That's not a name. That sounds like a fitness product you would see on TV at 4 a.m. Hi, I'm Sandy Simonson, your fitness coach. You've heard about the Ab Twister. You've used the Ab Crusher, and I know you've got an anal prolapse. Now it's time for our latest fitness innovation. It's time for the Ab City. I used to be a skinny piece of shit who lay around and didn't do anything all day. Now, thanks to Ab City, I'm a skinny piece of shit with fitness equipment under the couch. Thanks, Simon Sandyson. I've said I was gonna name my child Absidy um, if I had a girl since I was a kid myself. I think I was like eight when I said um, for the first time that's what I was gonna name my daughter. 
Is that really what happened? I don't know if I believe you. Is that what happened or did you reach like eight years old and go, oh, fuck yeah, finally, I worked out the first six letters of the alphabet. Man, at this rate, if I'm lucky, by 32, I'll figure out the rest of the letters and then by 60, maybe I'll learn how to read. Look, I don't want to be too harsh at this woman because she's not a bad person, she's just a bit of a doorknob. And in fact, not many people know this, but this woman is a hero. Uh, for the first time in world history this month, for 3 minutes and 42 seconds, the whole world achieved world peace. Because as soon as everyone who was fighting in wars and arguing with each other and having domestic violence disputes, as soon as everyone found out that some woman had named their child ABCDE, everyone put down their weapons, they put aside their differences, and they raised their pointer fingers, and we all laughed together. And that's a beautiful thing. She asked me, Mom, why is she laughing at my name? Um, and I said, you know, honey, not everybody is nice and not everyone's going to be nice. And, um, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. Mm, I don't know if that's the best advice. I feel like what she actually should have said would be something like this. You know, honey, sometimes in life, children get stuck with dickhead parents who want to give their kids stupid names. And this happens so much to the point where the government actually employs people to check these names to make sure no little boys and girls get stupid names that will make them bullied. But no system's perfect, honey. Every now and then, one name does slip through the cracks and a poor little girl gets bullied every day of her fucking life because her mum's a dickhead. And that's very unfortunate for, for, for you, not... Not for me. Southwest Airlines telling us in a statement, we extend our sincere apology to the family. The post is not indicative of the care, respect, and civility we expect from all of our employees. We have followed up with the employee involved. This statement is honestly great. It's amazing. This is basically the airline saying in a really fancy roundabout way, that they don't give a fuck. Like, they just, they're not gonna do anything. They don't care because everyone would have laughed at it. It's just a normal human thing. Like, in Alphabet's, that's what I call it, in Alphabet's defense, uh, a, an employee of an airline did post a photo online to make fun of a customer. And under, like, any normal circumstance, I think that would be enough to get an employee fired. But I feel like in this circumstance, it's just so hilarious that they probably did have a disciplinary meeting, but I reckon it would have gone something like, ah, uh, hey, uh, hey, Sarah, come here, I need to talk to you. Look, there's been a bit of a shitstorm about this uh, fucking ABCDE bullshit. I just wanted to let you know that uh, you shouldn't do that, um, but holy fuck, that was hilarious, man. That w What a stupid name. That's fucking ridiculous. Um, so no worries, don't do it again, and uh, just continue. Oh, actually, you're going to have to delete it on Facebook. Yeah. But before you do that, could you send it to me? Because, man, it's funny. I really need a good laugh. By the way, that name, Absidy, is more popular than you might think. There are 330 girls in this country what? right now really? with that you name. You buried the lead, Gio. Yeah. That's yeah. 330. <laughs> Wow, yeah. 330. Yeah. Man, I love this part, like right at the end where they're having the round table discussion about the news thing. And it's just so clear that all of the white people are like so amused and some of them are even thinking, oh, what a unique name. That's quirky and cool. But this one, this one black dude is just sitting there fucking hating it. Like he's thinking, Anything I say right now will just get me fired. If I say what I'm actually thinking, I'm not going to be a journalist anymore. I'll have no job. So I'm just going to say fucking nothing. And he's just keeping it bottled up. But you can see that he's absolutely raging. Man, white people have done a lot of stupid shit. But this name, man, this is worse than slavery. <laughs> you have a lot to say. All right, thank you, Hey guys, I think it's time to come to a consensus on this issue and agree that we have enough names and we don't need to invent any new ones. Like, we have them. We've done all of the names. There's no need to start adding your input because let me tell you, what's unique to you is worth bullying your child to others. And look, if you really must pick a jumble of letters from the alphabet to name your child, why don't you just go with Stu? I mean, even if it's a baby girl called Stu, it's still way better than a baby girl called Ab City. All right, thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of the video. My name has been XYZ. Uh, sorry, that's my new name, XYZ. I just picked it out of the uh, alphabet there. It's a... Uh, 
pretty good. I do like it, XYZ. It also happens to be my gender, so if you misgender me or discriminate against me, you'll be sent to fucking prison uh, because I now identify as XYZ in name and gender. So fucking watch your mouth, alright? So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, do subscribe. i got a new video coming out every week uh, because I'm hustling hard for you cunts. And uh, also, if you support me on Patreon, I am still giving away this horrible Supreme Patty Marijuana 420 Leaf chain to one person who does by the end of the month. So you get early access to all of my videos and you get something that's uh, uh, an absolute piece of garbage. Maybe you could throw it in the bin and film a video with it. I don't know what you would do with it. Alright, thank you very much for watching guys. I will see you next week and I'll catch you later.